The Tale of Peter Rabbit, Episode 1 Mrs. Rabbit Goes Into Town. Mrs. Rabbit had four little bunnies. Their names were Mopsy, Flopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. They lived in a hole under a tree. One day, Mrs. Rabbit said, We need bread. I'll go into town to buy some. She grabbed her basket and an umbrella. Mrs. Rabbit looked at her bunnies. I will be back soon, she said. Can we go outside? asked Peter. Yes, said his mother. But don't go into the farmer's garden. Your father went there, and he never came home. Okay, mother, said the bunnies. Mrs. Rabbit headed off to town. The bunnies put on their jackets and shoes. Then they went outside. The four bunnies hopped down the path. Look over there, said Mopsy. I see a blackberry bush. Yum, said Flopsy and Cottontail. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail ran to the bush. Peter's sister started to pick blackberries. I don't want blackberries, Peter thought. I'm going to the farmer's garden. The Tale of Peter Rabbit Episode 2 Into the Garden Peter hopped through the woods. A path led to the farmer's gate. Peter squeezed under the gate and looked around. I see green leaves everywhere said Peter. Peter wandered through the garden. He ate some lettuce. He ate some green beans. Ate some radishes. These vegetables are delicious, said Peter. I'll eat some more. Then he hopped around a corner. Peter gasped. <gasps> the farmer! The farmer gasped. A rabbit! Peter ran! The farmer grabbed his rake. He chased Peter. Stop! Thief! Cried the farmer. He swung his rake at Peter. Peter ran as fast as he could. His heart beat fast. He lost one shoe near the cabbages. He lost his other shoe near the potatoes. Where's the gate? cried Peter. He looked around. 
Suddenly, he ran into a net. The big buttons on his jacket got caught. Ah! Cried Peter. He kicked and twisted. But it was no help. I'm stuck in the farmer's net! Cried Peter. The Tale of Peter Rabbit Episode 3 The Chase Help! cried Peter. I'm stuck in this net! Some birds flew over to Peter. They tried to help him. Don't give up! Called one bird. Keep trying to get free! Take off your jacket! Shouted another. Peter stopped crying. Quickly, Peter slipped out of his jacket. Now he was free! But the farmer was still chasing him. Peter ran away fast. Get back here! Cried the farmer. Peter dashed into a shed. It was filled with garden tools. Peter leaped into a watering can. Splash! The can was filled with icy water. <laughs> said Peter. The farmer rushed into the shed. Where is that rabbit? Said the farmer. Peter shivered. He heard the farmer moving things around. The man was looking for Peter. Where are you, rabbit? muttered the farmer. The farmer's footsteps were close now. Uh-oh! whispered Peter. He felt a tickle in his nose. The tickle grew worse. Achoo! Peter sneezed. Aha! cried the farmer. The Tale of Peter Rabbit Episode 4 The Garden Gate Peter jumped out of the watering can. Hey! cried the farmer. Peter ran and ran. Finally, the farmer stopped chasing him. Now, Peter was lost. Where's the gate? He asked a mouse. But the mouse ran away. Suddenly, Peter gasped. <gasps> A cat! The cat was watching fish in the pond. She didn't see Peter. Ooh. Whispered Peter. He quietly slipped away. I must find the gate, said Peter. Scritch! Scratch! Peter heard a noise. He climbed onto a wheelbarrow to see. The farmer was working in the onion patch. Scritch! Scratch! Then Peter saw something else. The gate! 
he cried. Peter shot across the garden. The farmer chased him. Stop, rabbit! But Peter was too fast. He squeezed under the gate and ran home. <sighs> Mrs. Rabbit scolded Peter. Naughty rabbit! You lost your jacket and shoes! The other bunnies ate bread and blackberries. But Peter didn't get any. Peter sneezed. Achoo! Mrs. Rabbit gave him medicine. Then she sent him to bed. The Tale of Benjamin Bunny Episode 1 The Farmer Goes to Town Benjamin Bunny sat by the road. Clop, 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 clop. A horse walked along the road. The horse was pulling a wagon. It's the farmer and his wife, thought Benjamin. They are going to town. Benjamin smiled. I'll find my cousin Peter. Benjamin ran to Peter's tree. He peeked inside. Mrs. Rabbit was knitting. I don't want to see her, thought Benjamin. He saw Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. Where's Peter? thought Benjamin. He went to the other side of the tree. He crawled down a hole. And there was Peter. He was wearing a red handkerchief. He looked sad. Peter! said Benjamin. What happened to you? Where are your clothes? Peter sniffed. I lost them in the farmer's garden. I went there yesterday. The farmer chased me. I have good news, said Benjamin. The farmer and his wife went to town. We can look for your clothes. The Tale of Benjamin Bunny Episode 2 The Scarecrow Benjamin and Peter walked through the woods. At last, they saw a stone wall. The farmer's garden, said Peter. The two rabbits climbed onto the wall. Peter gasped. 
Oh, look at that scarecrow. It's wearing my jacket and shoes. Let's get them back, said Benjamin. I don't know, said Peter. We'll be fine, said Benjamin. He grabbed a pear tree. Then he slid down into the garden. Peter followed. Benjamin and Peter ran to the scarecrow. Peter took his shoes off the scarecrow. Water poured out of them. I guess it rained last night, he said. <laughs> Peter took off the handkerchief. He put on his jacket. My jacket shrank in the rain, he said. The scarecrow was also wearing a hat. Benjamin tried on the hat. It's much too big, he said. That's the farmer's hat said Peter. He looked around nervously. We should leave now, said Peter. No, said Benjamin. I want to get some onions. The Tale of Benjamin Bunny Episode 3, A Walk in the Garden Benjamin held up Peter's handkerchief. We can carry onions in this, said Benjamin. He put it on the ground. Benjamin went into an onion patch. He pulled up an onion. Shoo! This is a nice one, said Benjamin. He pulled up another onion. Peter looked around. His nose wiggled. Benjamin pulled up more onions. He rolled them onto the handkerchief. Let's go, said Peter. This garden isn't safe. It's fine, said Benjamin. I come here all the time with father. He ate a lettuce leaf. Mmm, said Benjamin. Yummy! Benjamin walked deeper into the garden. Peter grabbed the handkerchief. He ran after his cousin. What was that noise? asked Peter. Is the farmer coming? It's nothing, said Benjamin. Benjamin kept walking. Peter followed. They walked past flower pots and garden tools. Suddenly, Benjamin <gasps> gasped. I see a cat! He and Peter slipped under a basket. They waited. Sniff, 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 sniff. The cat jumped onto the basket. Then she sat down. The Tale of Benjamin Bunny Episode 4 
The Cat and the Basket. The cat sat on the basket. When will she leave? whispered Benjamin. Father will be looking for me. These onions smell awful, whispered Peter. Tears filled his eyes. The cat did not leave. She sat on the basket for five hours. At last, they heard something. Benjamin? Someone called. That's father, whispered Benjamin. The cat looked up at the wall. Suddenly, a large rabbit jumped down. Wham! He kicked the cat. Wham! He pushed her inside the greenhouse. Then, bang! He locked the door. Benjamin's father lifted the basket. You are in big trouble, Benjamin, he said. Later that day, the farmer returned from town. What happened? He cried. Small footprints were everywhere. The scarecrow's clothes were gone. And the cat was locked in the greenhouse. Mrs. Rabbit was upset with Peter. But she was glad to see him. You're safe, Peter, she said. And you got your clothes back. <laughs>